Hi everybody, I'm Yair from Rain the Dog, and today we will continue our series of Selenium exceptions. Today's topic is Element Non-Interactable Exception. If you haven't watched the previous video about stale element exception, you can find the link in the description section down below. When does this exception happen? For instance, the element might not be visible or not displayed. Also, the element might be present in the dome, but cannot be interacted. If you don't understand what is the dome, please refer to the first video in our series of Selenium for Beginners lectures. Also, the element might be off screen, or the element might be behind another element. Let's look at some examples. Let's go back to the valid Gmail login. It's part of the project that we've developed during the Selenium for Beginners sessions. So let's run this test. In this test, we first try to navigate to Gmail login page. Then we're inserting the username and clicking the next button. After that, we're trying to insert the password. You can see it here in line number 33. And we're trying to click next in the password section. Let's run it now. You can see here that our test already failed. Let's look at the exception. Now you can see that the exception is unable to locate element. The reason is, is because we're trying to move to the password field. Let's do it again. We're clicking next and the password field is still not present. So we have several options. If we'll try to implement the weight that you've probably seen in our previous video, the way that we developed, not the one of Selenium, we might get a different exception. Let's try and do it now. Let's add a wait for password field by using wait for element by rained dog. If we'll have a look at this method, we can see that this method only try to get the element and return if after a certain timeout or it was found, it wasn't null. Let's see if it's sufficient and if it can be solvable using this wait. So I'll rerun the test. Now I'll call this wait for password field. We can call it here. Let's run it. Okay, we still see the error. Now, now let's look at this error now. Now you can see that the element wasn't interactable. Let me explain. We first navigated to the Gmail sign-in page. We've clicked the insert username. Then we clicked on the next button. Even though it's Hebrew, believe me, it's written here, next. Now, the element was presented in the dome, but as you can see, it wasn't interactable. If you can see just for a second, let me refresh this page. Let's go back. Let me rerun it. I hope that you can see just for a brief second, you saw that everything was grayed out. It wasn't uh, ready for inserting text. So in this case, we can use a different approach. Instead of just waiting for the element to appear on the screen, we can do something else. Let's change this method. Because it will throw an exception, we can use the web driver weight of Selenium. So here we will tell the web driver to wait for a certain time until it will throw an exception. And then we can say that we are waiting until the element will be clickable. So if we'll run it again, Now you can see that the test wasn't failed. We're gonna fail on login to Gmail 
because I didn't enter the correct password, I just invented the password here, but we didn't get the element not interactable. So in this case, we could use the web driver weight of Selenium. So if we look at the solutions, we already seen the web driver weight. Now we can wait for the element to vanish. So let me present the problem here. Let's say we have this website. You've probably seen it in our Python tutorial of Selenium. It also will be linked down below. Let me refresh the page. You can see that we have a loader here. So if I'll try to click the Rain the Dog logo, it should navigate me to the Rain the Dog website. But as you can see, every time I try to refresh this page, I have this loader. It's an overlay that blocks this element. I will use Python to demonstrate for you how to run this. So let's execute the test. And you can see here that we have an error. Let's scroll down to see the type of error. Element not interactable exception. Again, we try to interact with this element, but there was an overlay that blocked the way. So what can we do here? We'll start by identifying the loader element. If I'll refresh this page and right click the inspect element, I could see that this loader element, you see now it's displayed none, it has an ID. So we'll identify this element by ID. Then we could ask, is the loader vanished? We can use the rain the dog wait for element to vanish. This is a special method that we develop, and you can check out the video for the element to vanish. It will be in Java, but here you can see the Python version of it. So here we're waiting for an element that is appearing on the screen, and then we're trying to wait until this element is not displayed anymore. So we'll apply this method on the loader. And then the only thing we need to do is to add an assertion in case that after a certain timeout you saw there it was five seconds, the loader would still appear. So let's run it again. Now we expect that our code would wait for this element and you can see it was clickable and our test has passed. Another way to tackle this problem is to wrap it with a try and catch block. An example for that you can see in the previous video of the exception of stale element exception. What it basically do, it will try and catch whenever we get the element not interactable exception and will apply the click again and again and again until it will be successful or until we have a timeout. So if you want to apply this kind of method, please check out the previous video. That's all for today. I hope that you find this video useful. If you did find it useful, please consider hitting the subscribe button. And also please share your thoughts. If you find something interesting and you want to investigate furthermore, and you want us to make some more videos like this, please share it down in the comment section down below. Until next time, thank you.